Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Students, today I will show you if my SQL is not working. For example, I'm going to start Apache and then I'm going to start my SQL. Let's see what my SQL behave. Okay, they are giving me error. My SQL shut down unexpectedly, and these are the errors. What you should do for this purpose, you have to follow the five steps carefully. What is the five steps are there? Number one is navigate to your XAMPP MySQL directory, which is usually located at C XAMPP MySQL. If you have installed XAMPP in a other directory you have to follow that directory okay i'm going to open this directory i have click on c drive in my case i have installed in xam xam1 then you will go to mysql this is mysql this is mysql folder Okay, this is the first step. You have to locate MySQL on your XAMPP directory. Second step is create a copy of the C XAMPP MySQL data folder. You have to copy, you have to create a copy of this folder. Means data folder, you need to create a copy okay this is my data folder this is the data folder you have to create a copy of this folder you can right click click on copy and you can paste here no students it will create a copy of data folder now they have given me a copy of the data folder and new name of this folder is data dash copy okay this was the step number two step number three delete all the files and folders from the c drive XAM MySQL data directory. You will delete all the data from this from the data folder. This is the data folder. You click it all and you can delete this all. Okay. You can select it all and delete all the files and folder from this place. Now I have deleted all the files and folder from the data folder. Okay. Step number three has done. Now step number four, copy all the files and folders from CZAM MySQL backup and paste them into, into the CZAM MySQL data folder. From where you will get the backup? From where you will get the files? From the backup folder. Next, this is backup folder. You can select all, control C, this is your data, open data and now you are pasting all the files and folder from backup folder. Okay. Step number four finish. Step number five, copy the IB data one, file the MySQL folder and your database from the CZAM MySQL data copied and paste them into the C drive XAM MySQL data directory. I will show you. You will copy in this place. From where you will get? You will get from data dash copy. How many things you need to copy? A for my case, I told you IB data 1, 1, MySQL folder 2, and database, my database post 
this is my database okay if you have more than your database you can copy for example this one is also my database okay you can copy your database control c and you can go to data folder this is data folder you can paste here replace the files in the destination okay once you will copy now you can go to the xam stop apache start it from the beginning and then try to start mysql No student, in this way you can able to start your MySQL. Okay, you have to follow only these steps. Step 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and after this you will be able to run your MySQL successfully. Jazakallah khair.